Hello, W4UYE here from SASQ. And today, we're going to talk about the least expensive way for you to get into HF communications for your soda activations. Alright, here it is. This is the True SDX, is designed by DL2MAN and PE1NNZ. It's two European hams. Uh, got a pretty good reputation for working with these QCX style radios. Uh, they designed the case and made some changes to the uh, basic design and came up with this probably about a year ago. I think I've seen them floating around for about a year. Uh, I seen one and I wanted to try it out, so I, I ordered it. Uh, I ordered it from a vendor, which I'll I'll give you in the video. Uh, it took about about three weeks to get here. It got here three weeks, and uh, I've not had a problem with it. Showing you a little bit about the unit itself, uh, you'll notice. You know, obviously we've got a little display here. Uh, we have a, a little speaker here. There's your microphone. There's your PTT. Uh, you got an enter button here which allows you to enter functions uh, in the menu. And then, of course, your VFO, your main VFO, which also clicks in. Uh, you can press the VFO, which also, um, you know, operates the, the uh, some stuff there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, like 150 to U.S. dollars. Uh, you can get it cheaper in kit form. I think it's about 80, 90 bucks. Um, it, it, it came, and, uh, you know, I hooked it up, and I was on the air right away with it. Uh, the unit itself has a BNC connector for the antenna. You'll see that I've got that gold BNC fitting on there that did come with the unit. Under that, I believe, is an SMA male uh, fitting. And then you notice I've got a rubber washer on there. I had to add that. I wanted to add a little bit of stress relief. You've got a jack for the mic and the key. On the top side, you've got a jack for the power. And uh, they send you the power plug. Uh, you can get them. I think it's it's something small, like a 3.5 millimeter DC. And on the end here, you've got a, a, a PA jack, and you also have a USB um, C jack. And then on the bottom of the unit, that doesn't that doesn't have anything on the bottom of the unit there. So, uh, function with radio super simple. Uh, you can go into your menu here. You just press this one time. You'll go and you can go through your different menu options. And they give you a sheet when you buy the unit that has all the different menu options on it. And you can also look on DL2MAN's website and he has the manual there for it. But you can see you can go in and you can change the different functions. Um, yes, it does have a CW decoder. It's not the best in the world, but it, it does work. It works okay. Works okay. It uh, it does have noise reduction on it. Uh, that's it's, it's, it's decent. Uh, You've got a couple different attenuators on here. Uh, you can choose your keyer and uh, your, your speed, of course. And then uh, you've got some other different things on here. Your noise gate, TX drive, um, TX delay. I'll leave those things pretty much the same. Uh, CW message, yes, you can pre-program CW messages and send those out with the unit. Um, you've got lots of different little settings in here. I won't go into all these. Um, to be honest, I don't know what even some of them do, but uh, I just left it the way it was out of the box and started running it. Um, you know, the only change I made to it, of course, is I got me into, you can see I got a different VFO than comes on it typically. Um, I do have it in the box, which I'll discuss a little bit later. But yeah, great, great little, great little unit. I've not had uh, any difficulties out of it whatsoever. Uh, I have talked SSB as far away as Brazil and Asiatic Russia. Um, signal reports are okay. Uh, stateside, I've gotten better signal reports. Um, but, uh, yeah, overseas, I've done it. So, if you want the cheapest way to get into HF radio, this is, this is your ticket right here. This is your ticket. Um, this is the cheapest way that I personally would trust. I've used it. I know it works. Um, I didn't say it was easy, but I did say that it works, and I stand by that. So, yeah, I'll uh, link you to the website. Do a little bit of research on it. It's certainly worth looking into. Um, and for the price point, you really can't beat it. You really can't beat it. So, yeah, definitely worth looking into. Uh, W5AZ, K4RV. Well, it's pretty much the same here, except not that hot. It's uh, 
Here we're from 95. Yesterday was 97. That's uh, I don't think it's been any higher than 97. So as you can see here, I keep mine in a little case. I believe that this case is designed for the Nintendo Switch. I think they call it the Nintendo Switch travel case. Inside the top, I keep, uh, let's see, I've got my CW key, uh, some earbuds, uh, 15 foot of RG174 coax, and a couple other odds and ends in the top of the case here. Uh, then on this uh this little mounting surface here, which is rigid, um, I put Velcro on the back of the unit itself and on the back of the speaker puck so these stick right here, they don't move. Um, and then underneath, I have a uh, battery pack that, uh, like a standard USB battery pack that has a 12 volt out with the AC adapter. So this lasts a long time. Um, I can take this out. And I've run it for days and never recharged that battery pack. The, the current draw is so low on this thing, um, it, it, w it will amaze you. And also, the battery pack has a standard USB outs on it so that I can, I can uh, charge the speaker puck as well, the auxiliary speaker puck. You can see how I've got the wires just kind of ran underneath, so it goes into the auxiliary in and to the speaker. And we go around here. And that's the auxiliary uh, speaker out there. And then, of course, you got the power cable, which I also have ran under there. So everything's nice and in one little case. And I can just pack this up and carry it wherever I want to go. And then you throw a wire, which also fit in the case, like an NFED half wave. A little NFED half wave will fit in this case as well. You have your whole kit for the field inside of a little box that big. So it's a, it's a great little way to carry just a little bit of kit with you when you go out and you want to you want to activate but not take up a lot of space in your luggage or your backpack now for the antenna that i use with the true sdx i use a sp the spark plug nfed halfway this is made by spark plug gear uh this is the qrp version and what it is is you've got your little ball in here um, that they've made and it's called a spark plug because it looks like a spark plug but anyway I've got this and I, I did put some tape on mine and I've got some paracord and a clip on it uh, because I'll like clip it to gear and have it hang and I want that stress relief in there and then I've got right here a 63 foot piece of wire 63 foot piece of wire which testing on my analyzer and the radio puts me resonant on 40 and 20 meters so I've got a 63 foot piece of wire here and these I can easily spool up and put into the case with the radio and then I've got everything in one single box that I can throw into a backpack and I've got everything that I need in a box that weighs about two pounds to take and activate any summit using HF so definitely um, if you're interested in like a little infed half wave these or the bomb. I love it. In fact, most of the guys in the SASQ own at least one of these, and a couple of the guys own the 100 watt version. This is a 50 watt version. They also make a 100 watt version. All right. So if you want to find out more about the true SDX, you're going to go to dl2man.de. It's dl2man.de. URL is right here. And you can go down in here and you can read all about it. He's got their forums about it. He's got all the research and development that's been done on it, on the hardware and the software. Um, but this is going to be where you're going to go if you're interested in the radio to learn more about it. Now, also, if you go down, you see like where to buy. Where are you going to buy it? Uh, True SDX. Well, he has approved vendors, so you don't want to go and buy it just anywhere that you see one. You want to go and you want to get it from one of these vendors right here. Um, if you don't get it from one of these vendors, it could be a knockoff. He has approved these vendors to carry this product. He knows that they make it correctly. 
So if you want the actual true SDX, get it from one of these stores here. Safe to buy from. And he's approved them. They actually sent him batches and he's tested them. He's pretty strict on his requirements for it. It has to meet certain requirements before um, he'll allow them to carry it. But those are the official vendors right here. That's the only place you need to go. Uh, for the manual, if you go back here, he has a link to the manual right here. You can go and you can open up the manual for the, the radio right here. It gives you all the information, uh, including very specific sizes if you're interested in fabricating your own battery packs for it or uh, a CW key that you want to mount on it. He's got all of the information here on it that you could possibly need about this unit. And also he's available to talk to if you want to send him a message or a letter. Um, he can certainly get back to you and give you further information on this. But all in all, good little radio. Um, he takes a lot of pride in it and there's a lot of information about it. So if you want to learn more about it, definitely visit dl2man.de. So I've certainly enjoyed speaking with you today about the True SDX. Wonderful little inexpensive addition to your shack. Quite capable in the field. Works great as a summit activation radio. And you don't have to spend a lot of money to see if you're actually going to enjoy using HF out in the field. Uh, give it some consideration. I've certainly enjoyed mine. And uh, I believe that you would enjoy yours as well. So uh, certainly give it some give it some thought. Anyway... Thank you for viewing today. This is Whiskey 4 Uniform Yankee Echo, and I'll be clear on your final.